So the countdown continues on to our top 10 plays of the year. With this show today, we are bringing you the top five runs of 2016. This is Steve Montoya. And I, am. I am Chris Stonebreaker. And we got some great runs, don't we? We do. We got some guys jumping over people. We got a lot of guys making a lot of people miss. And we got some great individual performances here, like our play number one, what we'll get to here in a minute. Right now, let's just get into it. These are our top five runs of the year. Number five, and it came to us at the very end of the year, the last in week. High school football fans around the country were going like, this is the run of the century. Najir West of Steel Valley in Pennsylvania. We can for sure say that this run is one of our top five runs of the year because we're putting it on the show. A 60-yard run that saw West truck four defenders on his way to the touchdown. All right, Cam Whitehurst out in North Carolina. What are you doing? Look at his run. It's like this is when you're like, oh, Cam, what are you? What? Just go down and just get this play over with. Wait, wait, Cam, I love you. You keep running. And that's what Mr. Whitehurst mm. does. So he turns a negative 18-yard run into a 72-yard TD, and he doesn't fall over at the end. He's still on his feet. I love Cam. I, love I always you, knew Cam. he was going to score. That's how we do it. Now, running back Nick Humphrey of Jefferson High in Michigan brings us play number three with his 80-yard TD run in the mud, which made it tough for Nick to pull away, but also made it hard on the would-be <laughs> tackler slipping and sliding. The team manager is going to hate having to clean up this mess. We talk about it all the time. Just seeing the grass, seeing the mud, that is what is so great about high school football, especially when it's real grass and mud. Yeah. Play number three. Real old school. Look at it again. Mud, grass, mud, right grass. here. We got a Penn State commit, new one. And this is Lamont Way. This is awesome. Jumps, gets hit, stays inbound somehow, goes down the sideline. He's going to get a nice block here from his teammate. And oh. then he's into the end. End zone. So I know he's probably listed as a defensive back at the next level. Penn State, you might want to get him the ball a few times because this is pure athleticism, Chris. You couldn't do this without <laughs> a guy jumping at no. you and then hitting you. If I said, Chris, jump towards the sideline, stay in bounds, you would fall out of bounds, and out fall over, <laughs> and probably tear your ACL or something that you've already I have torn. a good ACL now. <laughs> All right, I'll you're tear. everyone. My Achilles baby will go, but the ACL, I don't know about that one. Now, number one, and I'm going to tell you something. I can almost bet that this play makes our top ten plays of the it's year. It's got to. It has to. Kevante Baker of Heights High in Kansas is thanking his offensive lineman for giving him the opportunity to break tackles <laughs> yep. and then thanking them for setting that block because they sure set him up for failure at the beginning of this run. But this is one of those type of runs where you're like, he did it. Yep. He did it. 75 yards later, he has a TD. He has the Max Preps top run of the year. Cavante Baker of Heights High, congratulations. And great skills. Look at just how he eludes everyone trying to tackle him on his way to that TD. Those, those are those plays that just are like, okay, that was incredible. And I don't even know how to explain how it happened. Uh, you don't. That's right. All right. Well, Kansas in the house, the top run of the year. Will it make our top 10 plays of the year? I think so. I think so. All right. That's Chris Stonebreaker. I am Steve Montoy. Thanks for joining us here on MaxPreps.com.